hey guys, you need to understand the concept of conservation of mass before we get into the idea of balancing equations. So check this video out and then go and look at my balancing equations video. When we have an equation, we cannot end up with less than we started with. Just like when we're balancing our atoms and our elements, we have to balance our masses as well. So if we start off with two grams of A and three grams of B, we need to add these together and say that we are going to get five grams of AB. If we have 0.5 grams of hydrogen and 1 gram of oxygen, they are going to add together to give us 1.5 grams of water. If we have 19.8 grams of uh, calcium and we have, if we make 21.5 grams of calcium hydroxide, we need to work out how much oxygen we need to do that. So you need to take 21.5 minus 19.8 and that is going to give us 1.7 grams. So if we have 5 grams of magnesium and 0.1 grams of oxygen, we are going to make 5.1 grams of magnesium oxide. If we have 2.1 grams of hydrogen, 0.5 grams of hydrogen, making 2.3 grams of um, sodium hydroxide and 0.3 grams of hydrogen. Here we have a uh, silver sulfate, magnesium, making magnesium sulfate and silver, and we are going to end up with 8.23 grams of silver. Here we have calcium reacting with hydrochloric acid, making calcium chloride and hydrogen. And we need to know how much hydrochloric acid we get, and that is going to be 3.1. Here we have iron oxide and carbon reacting to make iron and carbon dioxide, and the amount of carbon we are going to need is 7.7 .7 grams. <laughs> 